Hello, it's me, the ukulele teacher, here to teach you how to play the song from Toy Story, You've Got a Friend in Me, by Randy Newman. So, grab your uke, make sure it's in tune, and get ready to play You've Got a Friend in Me. Now the first thing I'm going to do is play through the first verse so you've got an idea of what it should sound like. You got a friend in me You got a friend in me Now you might have realised there's a lot of chords in that song, many of which you might not have even heard of before. But don't worry, they're not that difficult, so I'm going to go through them each one by one now and teach you a couple of tricks and tips to help you get from one to the other. To play C, put your third finger on the third fret of the first string and the chord of C should sound like this. The next chord is G augmented. To play G augmented, put your first finger on the second fret of the first string and put your second finger on the third fret of the third string. Then put your third finger on the third fret of the second string, and G augmented will sound like this. Now, although that chord might take a bit of getting used to, it's the first of three very similar chords. So once you've got the G augmented shape down, you've got two other chords very similar. The next new chord you'll need is C7 add nine. Now that's a very similar shape to the G augmented, except you slide it down one fret, and lift up your third finger. So you've just got your first finger on the first fret of the first string, and your second finger on the second fret of the third string, and C7 add nine should sound like this. And you might have already spotted, but C7 add nine is very similar to the chord of F, because to play F, just move that whole shape up one string towards you, like this. So your first finger now goes onto the first fret of the second string, and your second finger is now on the second fret of the fourth string. And F should sound like this. So G augmented, C7 add 9, and F are all very, very similar chord shapes and easy to move between. From C7 add 9, you've nearly got the chord of C7, which is just the first finger on that first fret of the first string. And C7 should sound like this. The other chords you'll need in the verse include F sharp diminished, which is a bar across the second fret. That means you push down on all four strings at the same time with your first finger, then add your second finger to the third fret of the third string, and your third finger to the third fret of the first string, and F sharp diminished should sound like this. To play the chord of E7, put your first finger on the first fret of the fourth string, your second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your third finger on the second fret of the first string. And E7 should sound like this. And to play the chord of A minor, put your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And A minor should sound like this. To play the chord of D7, bar the second fret again with your first finger, then add your second finger to the third fret of the first string. And D7 should sound like this. And to play the chord of G7, put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, your second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your third finger on the second fret of the first string. And G7 should sound like this. Now there's a lot of chords in this song and it might take a little bit of a while to get your head around it. So I'm gonna break this song down section by section to make it nice and easy for you. Firstly, I'm gonna teach you the strumming pattern. Now what I play all the way through more or less is just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Let me play it through for you a couple of times on the C. Play along until you get used to it. Down, up, 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 down, up. The first line is C, G augmented, C, C7, add 9. Now it sounds like a bit of a mouthful, but believe me, it's a lot easier than you'd think. Let me play the first line for you really, really slowly. You got a friend in me. Then the second line is F, F sharp diminished, C, C7. And again, I'm going to play it for you really, really slowly. You got a friend in me. So let's put those first two lines together. You got a friend in me. You got 
befriended me. Now you've got those first two lines out of the way, that really is the hardest part of the song, and it's a lot easier from here on in. In fact, the next three lines are exactly the same. They're all F to C to E7 to A minor. So let me show you how the next three lines go. When the road looks rough ahead And you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed Just remember what your old pal said, hey! And then the final line of verse 1 is D7, G7, C. You've got a friend in me. So, really, really slowly, let's put verse 1 all together. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed, just remember what the old pal said, boy. Now we've got verse 1 down, verse 2 is almost exactly the same, there's just two tiny differences. The first difference is, on the second line, for you've got a friend in me, you don't play the C7 chord at the end. The second difference is, on the final line, you've got a friend in me, you do put a C7 chord at the end. Apart from that, verse 2 is exactly the same. So without any further ado, let's try and play verse 2 together, again, nice and slow. You got a friend in me you got a friend in me you got troubles well i got them too there isn't anything i wouldn't do for you we stick together and we see it through yeah you got a friend in me now we've got verse one and two let's move on to the bridge before we start it i'm going to play it through so you know roughly what it should sound like some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am Bigger and stronger too, maybe But none of them will ever love you the way I do It's me and you, boy! First things first, there's a couple of new chords. The first new chord is B7, which is just one finger different from F sharp diminished. F sharp diminished is like this. And to play B7, just lift off your third finger. So B7 is like this. Another new chord you'll need is F diminished, which again is very similar to F sharp diminished, but you move the whole shape down one fret. So the bar is on the first fret and the other fingers are on the second fret. And F diminished should sound like this. To play E minor, put your first finger on the second fret of the first string, your second finger on the third fret of the second string, and your third finger on the 4th fret of the 3rd string, and E minor should sound like this. To play A7, put your 1st finger on the 1st fret of the 3rd string, and A7 should sound like this. And to play D minor 7, put your fingers in the F shape, then add your 3rd finger to the 2nd fret of the 3rd string, and add your 4th finger to the 3rd fret of the 1st string, and D minor 7 should sound like this. So the first two lines are just F to B7, and the chords don't change very quickly, so it goes like this. Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am. And then the next line is C to F sharp diminished to C, and you can leave your third finger on the third fret of the first string all the way through that line, like this. Bigger and stronger too, maybe. Then the next line is B7 to F diminished, and to move from B7 to F diminished, you can slide the whole chord down and then just add your third finger back to the second fret of the first string. So that line goes like this. But none of them will ever love you. Then the next line is E minor to A7 and the chords move a bit quicker, like this. The way I do. And then the final line is D minor 7 to G7. And you can keep your first finger on the first fret of the second string for those two chords, like this. It's me and you, boy! So there's a lot of chords to remember and a lot of movement. So let's try and put the whole bridge together nice and slow. Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am. Bigger and stronger too. Maybe. But none of them will ever love you the way I do. It's me and you, boy! 
Now all that's left to learn is verse 3, and the good news is it's very, very similar to verse 1 and 2, with just a couple of slight differences. So before we begin, I'm going to play verse 3 for you nice and slowly so you know how it should sound. And as the years go by, our friendship will never die. You're gonna see it's our destiny. Oh, you got a friend in me. Yeah, you got a friend in me. So the first two lines are exactly the same as verse one and two, like this. And as the years go by, our friendship will never die. Then the third line, it slows down. It's F to F sharp diminished. You're gonna see it's a... And then there are three chords over three notes. So I just play one down stroke with my thumb on each of the chords over the word destiny. C, E7 to A7. You're gonna see it's a destiny. Oh! And then the last two lines are similar to the last line of verse one and two, but with just a few slight changes. It's just D7 to G7 to C, then an A7, and then play it again, D7 to G7 to C. And for a bit of spice, I just play an F, C to end. So those last two lines are, You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. So let's try and put verse three together, nice and slow. And as the years go by, our friendship will never die. You're gonna see it's a destiny. Oh, you got a friend in me. Yeah, you got a friend in me. So just put it all together, verse one, verse two, the bridge and verse three. And that's how to play You Got a Friend in Me by Randy Newman. I've been the ukulele teacher. If you have any requests for future lessons, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I love you all and I wish you the best.